Excel's count formula will tell you how many numeric values are in a specific array. We'll dive into this formula and the count A formula in this video. So what does the count formula do? It counts the number of cells in a range that contain numbers, so that contain a numeric value. If I use the count on the employee number, it returns 21, as there are 21 employees in my table. The interesting thing about the count formula is if I drag that one cell to the right, it will return zero, for employee name, even though there are 21 cells with values. The difference is these are stored as character strings and counts will only count numeric values. If I drag this one cell to the right, the higher date returns 21 as dates in Excel are stored as serial numbers. If I drag it over to the rating, nothing will be returned as that is a character string. And if I drag it into salary, I will get 21 as salary is stored as a numeric value. If I want to prove this, I can concatenate the salary with text and then fill that down, copy it, pay special values in the salary section. And now you can see the salary number has been changed to zero because this is no longer a numeric value. It is stored as text. If we want to count all of the cells in a specific range that have some value, what we need to use is the count a formula. If I use this formula on our employee number, it returns 21 and on all the rest of our columns will also return 21. It is not just looking for numeric values, but is also looking for character strings and any cell that is not blank. <laughs> 